Sure. Um, sorry, we're just going to have uh, Kanahus Manuel. We'll welcome her back to the stage. Uh, she's just going to talk about the, the salmon mats that uh, her and her friends picked up. Um, I'm just, I, I want to take this opportunity because I saw Anushka, she drove by, she she did a war cry, pumped her fist out the window, and so she's somewhere around here trying to make her way here. But I just wanted to tell you that um, Anushka, who is going to speak right now, is one of my you know, adopted sisters, and she's uh, a lawyer and she's a legal advocate too, but one of the things that she did is she had a very close relationship with Wolverine, had a very close relationship with um, his wife, Ka'a Flo, who really instructed her that we need monitors and, and gave the permission for her and a bunch of other comrades to go out onto our Sukwatmuk creeks and streams and pull out these anti-spawning yeah. mats. So here she is. Hey, so my name is Anushka Azadi, and I'm, I heard the end of that introduction, it sounded all very nice. Um, so I have, I've been in contact and in community and family with the Sequatmic Nation for quite a number of years now, and I was very lucky to be trained up by a real warrior women's society. When I first started working with the Sequatmic women, they were so powerful and so strong that for some time I just had to sit quiet and just do the work, shovel the shit, take care of the babies, take care of the elders, cook the food, all of which I still enjoy doing, by the way. I love doing all that, still do it. But all of that training to do this, to actually be able to take action, to be able to enforce an authority that is real, that is not made up, that is not made of concrete and glass, that is not made up of things that will eventually destroy us, that are destroying us all right now. We were trained to be territorial authorities, to be monitors, to follow tribal law. We were trained that the provincial government, the federal government, has no jurisdiction. We were trained certainly the RCMP has no jurisdiction. And that any time they lay a finger on us, that is an ultimate violation of that law. Because we are women fighting a pipeline, we are women fighting for our right to survive and exist, that's all. Nothing more than that. I don't want your money, I don't want your jobs, I don't want your city. I don't want any of it. I want my rivers and creeks and oceans and mountains and forests. I want to have a baby. I want to have a baby right down by some clean water in my sister's territory if I am given permission to do so. I would like to live a quiet and happy life on Kiao Flo's farm, on Wolverine's farm, caretaking that farm, making sure that farm gets done, that the funding is coming in, and that soon we won't even need funding, so fuck all of that, too. <laughs> this pipeline will not be built. No more pipelines after this. After this pipeline, we can't forget, no more pipelines will be built. No more mines will be built. No more logging will go through. Now, every time you see any resource extractive projects, I don't give a shit what it is, don't even tell me. Anytime you see those projects, you now know, and you are bound to act, that this is unceded and unsurrendered territory. You know now, I'm telling you, she's telling you, Wolverine is telling you. Unceded! Unsurrendered. And now that you know this, you are bound to stand in front of any resource extractive project because you can bet that they don't have consent. And certainly they don't have any authority and jurisdiction on these lands. And you must act that way. And when you do not act that way, you are complicit. And I'm, oh, I'm so tired of people that are complicit. They go around and they come up to, I want to help, I want to help. Well, get a new job, don't get a job at all. Come find me in the land, on the mountains, where we're building something bigger and better. Something that will actually take care of the land and water. We are supporting 
very nations that have had thousands and thousands and thousands of years of experience, if that's what we're looking for, caretaking this land. And not once in that time was there a pipeline spill or a Mount Polly tailings dam burst or a Gustafson Lake. Fuck the RCMP. Fuck the provincial government. Fuck the federal government. Fuck Kinder Morgan. Fuck Imperial Metals. I'll fucking say it again. Fuck all of it. This is not sustainable. Even the lifestyles we are living in this city are not sustainable. Get with it. And that does not mean compost and recycle. Do that too, that's nice. <laughs> That means find the people of the land. Go very humbly and ask them, here's some money. First say, here's some money, here's some tobacco, here's some food, here's some anything. And then when they give you permission, ask them, what can I do to help? And then please listen, because so many people ask, what can I do to help? And we spend time telling you, but then you don't actually do what we say. Do what we say. Do what my sister says, give her gas money to go where she needs to go, give her money to feed her babies, money to fix the brakes on her war pony. She needs to get places. We need to stop pipelines and mines. This cannot happen again. This will not happen again. For fuck's sake, how did we let this happen? How did all of the people since the end of September, how did all of the people who are commenting on these mats, who are saying, oh, what are they doing out there? Oh, they're so ugly. Oh, someone should do something about it. All those people that said that and didn't do anything about it. Now you've learned your lesson. Now you've learned your lesson. We take action. We do not wait for politicians. We do not wait for any B, D, F, O, how, I don't know how many other acronyms there are. They all mean nothing. All of their laws are all made up. And the only reason why those laws have any authority, I promise you, listen close. I went to law school. <laughs> also, I know things. The only reason why those laws have authority is because you and me and you and me, and you, and me, all of us choose to follow them. We choose. We have a choice. I promise every day we have a choice. And I get it, some laws are harder to break than others. But they are all breakable because they are nothing. The real law is these women. And these women are not breakable. We are not breakable. We are not shakable. We will not be displaced again. This pipeline will not be built. And everybody in this city, everybody in this city has to work for that. And I don't mean work when you just got time off nine to five jobs and rent and Main Street and commercial drive and go to the slam poetry and go to the concert and do this and do that, get busy. There's so much more important stuff to do. Stop fighting around with your community over this and that, identity this, commercial that, groups this, political communities that. All these tiny, tiny little divisions, tiny, tiny groups that nobody talks to each other in the city. People come to me, all these different groups come to me and try to talk to each other. Through me, I'm busy. Get it together. Wolverine will tell you, get it together. There are bigger things to consider here. Get over yourselves and your ego. Otherwise, nothing will happen. We will all keep standing around in the rain with our umbrellas and our signs. And I don't care for these signs. I don't want to make any more signs. I want to build houses. I want to be hanging out with the tiny house warriors. Because all everybody is saying is, well, then if we don't have a pipeline, give us a solution. How are we going to house people if we don't have fish farms? How are we going to feed people? If we don't have this, how are we going to do that? Oh, but we got so much. We got so much space. 
We've got so much women warriors. We've got so much land. We've got farms. We've got so much power. We've got generations coming behind us that are going to tear this shit apart. You better get out of the cities when that happens. All of you better find another place to go. Better stop paying those taxes. Better stop believing that this government is actually a real thing. It is not. You are. You all are real. All of that power you feel coursing through your hands. All of that power you feel right now in your hearts. And my sister kind of who's told me one day while we were really tired coming off the road and she said, calm down, it's okay. Every breath is a prayer. Even the hard ones. And so you just got to keep taking those breaths and keep making those prayers. Stop beating around the bushes. Come find us on the land. City organizing will only take you this far. These signs will only take you this far. But after we stand around here, I expect every single person standing here listening to me. If you don't do it, oh. Every single person needs to at least today, today, make one action anywhere after this rally, because we're all doing this together. Go somewhere else. Make an act of resistance, whether that means talking to somebody that don't know anything about the pipeline, whether that means taking down a police car, just kidding. But do an action that's in a resistance action. One thing, small thing, it's okay. Practice. Because all of those small acts, all of those little paper cuts, all of those little cuts we're making, that's what's gonna take it down. And I'm just gonna end this, I'm sorry, I've been talking for a little while, I know. I have a lot to say. I'm just gonna end this with a metaphor that one of my elders taught me. And my elder always talked about the spear metaphor. And they said, we've got this giant beast that we need to slay. We've got this giant animal, we need to kill it. So that we can eat. We don't want to eat the animal, but you know, we want to eat. We're hungry. We're cold. We need a spear to do it. But a spear, you know, has three parts, right? It has that sharp part up front, the one that's going to cut. It's got the binding in the middle. And then it's got a long handle. And that long handle is what's going to push that sharp part of that spear in. The warriors. The warriors are the sharp part of that spear. But us warriors, we can't do anything unless there's something to bind us to you all. Community, family, that long handle. Not all of us have to be that sharp point. None of us, not all of us can be. Not all of us have the permission to be. That's okay. We have a long handle. And that long handle needs to push that spear point in. And now needs to slay this beast. Because we are done being hungry. We are done dying. We are done fighting for water. We will have it. And we will win. Thanks so much, Anushka, for your rousing speech. That was awesome. Um, do you guys feel like doing a chant here? I feel like the people inside need to hear that we don't want them there. We're going to go with Notley Go Home, all right? She's in there right now. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Notley Go!